Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. We've ranked these products based on many hours of research and testing, and we've picked the five best models. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. First, we'll discuss what you should look at before buying. Then we'll look at the five best picks. To make it easier, we'll include timestamps in the description. Let's get started. Before buying a TV, I always recommend getting a bigger one. After all, no one ever said I should have bought a smaller TV. Well, not the biggest one though, the biggest one that will be appropriate for your room. For example, you'll see some pixels on an 85 inch TV if you stand very close to it, which is the case in most smaller rooms. So typically start from something between 55 and 65 inches and go for larger or smaller depending on your room. The trick is to get a large enough model to not be super large for the room you're buying it for. It shouldn't be too hard and there are some calculators online that may help you. Second of all, resolution. The biggest thing you should consider and know after you choose the size of your TV is its resolution. In the past, there were full HD 1080p models that were the most popular and feasible choice. However, these days, they're considered subpar. And if you're considering investing in an OLED TV, I'd recommend you go for Ultra HD 4K resolution to get a super clear image. There are also 8K TVs out there today, but I still wouldn't recommend them since they're very expensive and there's not enough 8K content out there to enjoy the full capabilities of your TV. And lastly, HDR. With Ultra HD 4K televisions, you'll spot the HDR feature, which stands for High Dynamic Range. This is one of the most interesting features out there as it delivers a perfect image with more colors, more contrast and better brightness overall. Most 4K resolution TVs have this feature, but then again, it's worth checking it out before buying since it will elevate your experience tenfold. Check some images with standard dynamic range and high dynamic range side by side to see the difference, which is significant. We're going to kick off this list with an excellent OLED TV that delivers an astounding image quality, which is better than most out there, the LG C9. LG has been one of the most impressive brands in the TV market for a long time now, while delivering one of the most futuristic smart TV packages, beautiful designs and great HDR implementation, and the LG C9 is no different. Looking at the LG C9, you'll see that it has some big similarities to its predecessor in terms of design, but that's a good thing in my opinion, since the C8 was an excellent looking TV with minimal and refined aesthetics that look perfect in every room design. On top of that, it has the slope stand that pushes the sound of the down-firing speakers towards you, which is one useful feature. The screen has super slim bezels that won't be noticed at all, and all over it, it has a brushed dark metallic trim that's perfect. I should mention that the TV comes in three different sizes, 55, 65 and 77 inches, the super expensive latter. The LG C9 also has some excellent options for connectivity with a total of four HDMI 2.1 ports that support 48 gigabits and a high frame rate, which we'll talk about in a moment. On top of that, it also has three USB ports, two RF ports, LAN, optical analog, 3.5 mm aux port and a CI slot to complete the package. The ports are also quite accessible. It also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and AirPlay 2 features. This device comes with a Magic Remote, which is one of my favourite ones out there at delivering a seamless experience. On top of that, it has the OLED panel that delivers 8 million dimming zones, which are individually controlled to deliver a beautiful amount of detail and highlight. Dynamic tone mapping also delivers great performance for frame-to-frame -frame performance. Before forgetting, I should state that the LG C9 also supports HDR10, HLG and Dolby Vision for a great performance. I have to say that any TV you buy today, you will need a soundbar or any kind of sound system to deliver an appropriate sound performance. However, the Sony A9F delivers an adequate sound performance without the need for an external sound device with its innovative speakers and excellent design. Let's take a look. The Sony A9F has a pretty interesting design, quite similar to its predecessor, but compared to most TVs out there, it's pretty unusual. It has the lean back design that uses a kickback stand to keep the device standing, and for that reason, it also can't be wall mounted. 
However, it makes the initial setup for the TV quite easy, as you just release the stand from the latch and attach the counterweight, and it stays quite stable as well, surprisingly. The design is pretty strange, however, it is necessary for the sound performance, which we'll talk about shortly. On the stand, you'll notice the connectivity ports of the device that include four HDMI ports, all of which deliver 4K 60p 4 to 2 to 0, 10 bit, 4 to 4 to 4, and 4 to 2 to 2 color subsampling, which is excellent. Moving on, it also has an AV input, digital optical audio port, Ethernet, and two USB ports. The biggest selling point of this thing is the Acoustic Surface Audio Plus feature that adds an on screen actuator for delivering a center channel. That, combined with the other speakers, creates an effective 3 to 2 sound system. It delivers triple the colours that you see on most TVs out there. It also delivers great blacks and vibrant colours that make the whole experience very immersive. On top of all that, it has a peak brightness of 900 nits, which is marvellous. Coming up next in our list, we have the LG B8, which is one of the best OLED TVs for watching movies, and it's also one of the most affordable options out there. Despite being branded as an entry-level model, it still delivers a powerful performance that will leave every viewer satisfied. And again, OLED technology is one of those things that doesn't perform poorly. In terms of design, the LG B8 is one of the best TVs I've ever seen, thanks to the company's excellent display-on-glass panel technology that's much thinner than its 1.8-inch thickness suggests. It's also rather sleek and refined in terms of aesthetics and will fit right into most living room designs. Bordering the panel, you'll spot 0.4-inch bezels that are not distracting at all, and I think that this is one of the most impressive TVs out there. I should mention that it comes in both 55 and 65-inch sizes. The brushed metal stand is also exceptional and has a pretty good footprint. Then again, on the back of the TV, you have the 300 by 200 Visa mounting holes for wall mounting. On the back, you'll spot two port panels that deliver some great connectivity options. On the left-facing panel, you have three HDMI ports, one of which has ARC and a USB port. On the rear panel, you have the fourth HDMI port, two more USB ports, an RF connector, 3.5mm composite video input, an Ethernet port, and an optical digital audio port for older sound systems. It offers 4K resolution with beautiful 10-inch colours and a refresh rate of 120Hz that delivers a super smooth performance. If you're thinking of getting an OLED TV for your couch gaming sessions, you're in for a treat, as the LG B9 is one of the best options out there for a wide range of reasons. The most important of them being that this TV delivers excellent image quality and great HDR support for your PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X systems that deliver a super smooth 4K gaming experience. Like its predecessor that we just talked about a minute ago, the LG B9 is also a pretty beautifully designed TV that's super slim, exceptional and aesthetically pleasing. It still has a thin design with seemingly disappearing bezels around the screen, an amazing build quality that feels reassuring. On top of that, the LG B9 comes with the company's Magic Remote, which is my favourite for controlling the smart TV system of this device. Like the B8, the B9 comes in 55, 65 and also super large 77 inch size that will fit into super large living rooms beautifully. In the connectivity department, the LG B9 offers plenty, with four HDMI 2.0 ports, one of them which supports ARC, three USB 2.0 ports, a CI port, Ethernet, antenna and optical inputs to complete the package. The WebOS Smart TV platform appears here as well, delivering the same fast, organised, responsive and intuitive experience that we're fans of. There are no weak points to that. The image quality of the LG B9 is one of the best out there despite not costing a fortune especially at the 55 and 65 inch size. Moving on, it supports Dolby Vision HDR, HLG and HDR10 support for an immersive experience. If I had to choose one OLED TV to rule them all, I would pick the LG E9 because it combines all the qualities that make a great OLED TV. The image quality is impressive, it has a great design, the cost is competitive and it has a great sound performance which I didn't expect. The biggest selling point of the LG E9 is the thin band on the bottom of the TV that's a speaker grill and acts as a soundbar actually, delivering a pretty pleasant experience overall. It also separates nicely from the glass panel and adds a great aesthetically pleasing look. The grill allows the sound to shoot downwards and it's a great step up from the industry standard that pushes you into investing into a soundbar. 
There are some excellent connectivity ports on the back of this TV, including four HDMI ports, three USB ports, optical port, 3.5mm audio, satellite sockets, antenna and Ethernet as well. Moving on, you can also wall mount this panel and it will look excellent as well due to its super thin body giving an excellent look. The LG E9 is powered by the second generation Alpha 9 processor of the company that does wonders with the AI technology that optimizes the image and upscales the content perfectly. I should also mention that it delivers amazing color and it supports Dolby Vision, HDR10 and HLG content without any compromise. Blacks look ultra deep and the shadows were very pleasing to the eye. Definitely one of my favorite TVs out there. I would have liked if it supported HDR10 Plus as well, but even without it, it is great overall. The color palette is rather rich and I have no complaints about this TV. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.